Okay, this video goes through uh, how we go about uh, importing data and converting it within Icon Office. So within Icon Office, what I'm going to do is set myself up a new project, and I'm just going to browse onto my hard drive and create a folder for that. New folder. Okay. Open that folder and here it's going to save it in this path for me and this is the name of my project this name is the same name that will appear um, within the uh, UMC 3D software so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go and take a design file from someone uh, let me just create one now What I'm going to do is now paste that file in with um, in with my current project, and the reason I've done that is that um, you can see that uh, in my Icon Office software, immediately in that folder, the uh, design file comes up here, which is this one here. So if I double click on here, here's our design data, and what I want to do is extract out the surface from it. So I go to Data, Extract Faces from an AutoCAD drawing. This shows me all the layers in the drawing. I'm just going to tell it to select all the visible layers, which is the whole lot. It'll be in this layer here, no doubt. Okay, and we extract it out, and here now is our surface. And it's created a file here called untitled3.trm, which is our terrain model file. So I'm going to save that now, and it's going to give us a uh, more user-friendly file name, um, which we can key in. Uh, I'm just going to save that. And there's our terrain model file, done and dusted. Now what I want to do is to extract out the line work, so I'm going to go into the properties here and I'm just going to turn the tin off so that we only see the line work here. And now I'm going to go data, extract coordinates for an, from an AutoCAD uh, file and I, again I'm just going to select only my visible layers and go. I normally don't extract the block contents, turn all those settings off and go OK and you can see now I've got my line work save that file here as untitled4.geo so if we hit save now we can actually give it a more user friendly file name which I'll do Okay, and now you can see what the software has done is um, it, in this project tree on the left hand side you can see here's our terrain model and here's our geo file um, and if I now go into windows and have a look in that same file folder I can see here there's my geo file and there's my terrain model file ready to go onto the machine. This default file pp.geo is empty, it can be deleted. So the idea behind the software here is that it's continually reading that folder that you've created the project in and, um, and any files that it recognizes like geo files will be go under coordinate files, DXFs under AutoCAD files, terrain models and so forth. Um, what I'm going to do now is I just want to create a center line down my job so if I go and open up my geo file here my changes start down here so I'm just going to go into uh, tools create a line and a profile and here I'm just going to call this center line starting at change 0 which it is and it's asking me to select the line that I want, want to create so let me just go and do that whoops That's this line here, and it's, oops, let me just zoom in a bit. starting at change 0 and now I select my line it's going to create that for me and here's my center line being created and you can see it's created the line file and the profile there automatically um, for me all of those are ready to export out now to the um, to the USB ready to go onto the machine or you can just take the DXF file um, and